everybody, it's your crazy fangirl Shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So, oh my god, guys, it's been so long since we've done this. Oh, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm sorry for the disappearance act, like, because I obviously haven't been, like, on screen, like, all the time as usual. Um, just know that I'm fine. <laughs> I've just been taking time to just do stuff that I haven't been able to do, which is just properly relax without doing university work because my whole university schedule has been moved to next year, so that's a thing. And then um, just spending time with my family. As you guys know, if you look on my Twitter stuff, like my dad was in hospital for a while, he was in and out for a while, and not for COVID, but for other health re reasons, but for other health conditions that he has. And finally, things have kind of settled down. We're all getting back into routine. Well, not... Melbourne's in lockdown still because people are stupid. Um, we weren't and then... Mm. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, just know that I'm doing well. I've been, again, just relaxing, taking time for myself and... Also, I've become a bit of a grandma. I've been doing lots of cross-stitching. Um, I just... It's fun. And it's... Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> anyway, throwing that away. Um, today we're going to be reacting to everything to do with Halo Infinite. So obviously the showcase was last night. Um, I didn't watch it because it was like at five a.m. for us, and I'm I'm sleeping at that time. Um, but I I wasn't going to react to it in all honesty. But then I was like, you know what? I've always been a big fan of Halo. Halo was the first of a game I played, so you know why not? Let's jump in and let's just react to it because. Again, I have mixed feelings about the series, obviously, since um, after Halo 3. Halo 4 was pretty good. Halo 5 was... Either way, I'm very excited for what this could possibly be. Um, it has a lot of Reach vibes. Like, I'm really, really excited about that. Because, like, if you put, like, the two covers next to each other, it's very similar. I'm not going to do it here because... It's a bit yeah, But if you go online, there's a lot of people who are, like, comparing. Um, and also, if you close up on the new poster, there's the reflection of the new villain, who is obviously going to be in this game. Well, not the new villain. It's, um, people are kind of theorizing. I can't remember his name, but he's the villain who was in number four. So everyone's saying, like, it might be him. Like, we actually didn't kill him in number four. That will be interesting. But anyway, let's just jump straight into this. I'm going to be reacting to... The trailer that is for the campaign, and then I'm going to be watching all the footage that is for the campaign from the showcase. So let's jump straight into this. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more video games, TV shows, and movies. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. Spartan. Oh, it's we so clean! It is there. Dude, it's so clean. just the trailer for the campaign. I'm going to watch the eight minute gameplay now because holy crap. Whew, it's giving me a lot of, yeah, old school vibes and the music. Oh my god. Um, but anyway, we'll talk about that after. Let's just jump straight into this. And again, graphics are so clean. Can we play? Oh, I, I don't have any new Xbox consoles, so I can't play it. It's so annoying. But obviously this is on place on the new Xbox. Wait, I missed that beginning. We go back. This is a punishment, right? Yep, this is death. No! 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 Oh! I'm going to have to make an emergency landing. Hold on, shit. You were out there on your own, and you'd still be out there if it wasn't for me. That sounds like Octane. I thought I was going home. 
There won't be a home if we don't stop the banished. You keep the saying banished? It. We're outgunned, outnumbered. Oh, that smooth ass transition. Oh my god. <gasps> There's animals. It's so weird to see that in Halo. Ooh. These graphics. Jesus. Oh. The Banished. I'm trying to see if that's, or like remember if that's connected to Halo Wars because I remember in Halo Wars they fought someone who kind of looks similar to that guy who we saw in the previous trailer. Oof, very nice, very nice. So they are Covenant forces. Yeah, that's an elite. Pretty sure? Yeah, that's an elite. Oof, I like that gun. Oh! Oh, it's a brute. Oh, so you can shoot through the feet. That's cute. I like that. Cute? Why did I say cute? Oh, I like that mechanism! Heck yes! Because they had that in Halo 2, but it was only in specific areas. Excuse me. That they had shields, but you couldn't move, like, choose to move them around. It was only, like, in certain areas, I remember. Ooh! Ooh, I like that gun. Oh, this, so there's brand new guns. I'm guessing, because none of these guns were in any of the previous games. So... Ooh! What was that? That's so cool. Oh! Oh, so you can grab- that's cool. I like that. You can grapple stuff and use it. That's cool. Oh, very nice! Oh! Yeah, that's an elite. And that's a brute. The banished? So were they like kicked from the covenant I'm guessing? Cause of like, you know, there was that war. Oh! There's gonna be a boss, isn't there? Oh! Yes, there's gonna be a boss battle. Lost this war months ago. Your people are broken, scattered, hunted, defeated by me. I wish I could tell you it was difficult, but it wasn't. <laughs> we are one step ahead, always. The rain. He's already under our control. Soon, the auditorium as well. The Harbinger and the Banished share the same goal. We fight together to honor the will of Atriarchs. But I grew weary, lost. Creepy. Oh, nice. 
that was interesting. Okay, so that gives us a lot of information about what is kind of going to happen. Um, I'm just going to go back and kind of like just rewatch it quickly with subtitles because I did not understand a little bit of what he was saying because of the breathiness of his voice. The harlot and the banks share the same goal. We fight together to honor the will of Atriox. <gasps> Atriox! I, okay, now I get it. Atriox is the guy who is in Halo Wars. I can't remember which one. I think there's a couple of Halo Wars, but he was in one of them. And he was like the most powerful brute there was. And he killed the elites who were like kind of like controlling him and his like brotherhood. And then he overturned them and then took over like a piece of land. Um... And yeah, there was a whole thing with that story, but it was very interesting. Yeah, I remember in that one, they also had, like, there was a woman who controlled, like, the, the kind of the ring, but she kind of, like, lifted the kind of, like, the central pillar or something. I can't remember exactly the definition, because I haven't been in the Halo world for a while. But she lifted it, and she t teleported somewhere onto a different ring, I think. And then she walked out, and then it was the Guardian, one of the Guardians from Halo 5. They were there. And she was just like, what the hell? Like, what? what's going on? And um, then it ended there for um, Halo Wars. And Atriox was still alive, I remember. And he was like, you know, we're going to continue this war, blah, blah, blah. Like, we had only had, like, a minor defeat. Um, so, yeah, he's obviously working in League with Atriox. Um, because I thought Atriox was the, the Guardians, but the Harbinger? Harbinger? Is that? I thought, because I'm trying to think. Wait, hold on. I need to look up my definitions real quick. Okay, I'm thinking, after reading a few Reddit posts, I'm thinking that it has something to do with Cortana, because obviously her ideal of peace is forced peace. So, I'm guessing that... He is also in league with Atriox, but also Atriox has made a deal with Kutana. And to enforce peace, they have become the enforcers of that peace. Because she was... Because, yeah, her, her idea was twisted. It was interesting as her as a villain, but it's so twisted. And it's interesting to see her as a villain in Halo 5. And also, possibly, we may see an appearance from her. Because in the previous trailer, I think, we saw... Not saw her, but we heard her. So I'm guessing she's obviously going to make like a small appearance and be like, Hey, John! <laughs> um, but I think, um, yeah, I definitely think that this guy and uh, Atriox are definitely in league with Katana. And again, they're going to be the enforcers of the peace that she wants. And I'm guessing we're going to see more of that maybe in this game, but more in Halo 6. Which will be very exciting because obviously that's where the like the big main story will happen to continue the rest of the story. Um, so that will be interesting. But again, I'm quite impressed with that story, like connecting all the dots. Um, because I was kind of worried about Halo Infinite. You guys know that in previous reactions to the trailers and the news and stuff. I was worried because I love Halo to death. But at the same time, I'm worried that they were dragging it on far too long. Because I love this game to death. But I'm like, don't overdo it you know what I mean um so seeing what they've done and kind of getting a glimpse into that I'm very intrigued and I'm actually quite excited they haven't given a release date yet which is quite um well oh well obviously they haven't given a release date to the new Xbox because this is going to be one of the forefront games that are coming out on it so I'm guessing they're going to wait until that release date comes and then they're going to probably give the release date for Halo Infinite which is fair enough because it's coming out at the end of the year for yeah winter so they're going by is it Japan or is it America I think it's either Japan or America so it's like that's why it's coming out in like December so yes gameplay is so smooth and even the graphics it's so smooth I was so shocked in that first preview in that mini gameplay trailer that I was just like that's Halo, because, like, it's so smooth. And obviously we've seen the smooth graphic, graphic, excuse me, from Halo 5 and stuff, but it still surprises me, because I still play, like, the Halo 2 
old school version and it's like I love playing that game because it just reminds me of my childhood and like the first game I ever played um and then when I go to games like this or like for example um Ghost of Tsushima it's like the graphics are so clean and I'm just sitting there like what like it's crazy um so yeah gameplay is amazing and I love that they're actually listening to the audience because we've been asking for certain things for a very long time Obviously, me asking, but, you know, the people who are playing it are asking for it more. So, you know, grappling hook, the shield. A lot of people have been asking for the shield for a very long time. So it's nice to see that that's kind of being incorporated. And I like the new guns that have come into play. I do like the old school guns from, like, Halo 2 and stuff. But it's good to see, like, a new range of guns. And again, like, I told you guys, like, I was so worried for this game and where they were going to take it. But I'm hoping that they have focused more on the story and how to make it more, you know, enticing because Halo 5, I will say it, it was very much a disappointment. I remember watching like the full five hour gameplay, or not five hours, sorry, it was longer than that, but it was like, you know, I was watching the full gameplay story of it and someone playing it obviously and I was like, what? <laughs> because obviously it was like just misinterpretation in the trailer and then obviously we, we had Team Osiris and Blue Team, but then we got so less of blue team I wanted more because that team just seems so cool and yeah and I'm wondering like I'm hoping that that gets filled in because like there's that gap of nothing where we don't know how Master Chief got here so I hope that they do fill that in because I want to know what happened to blue team team Osiris and like you know how Master Chief got separated from them not separated but maybe left them and then came to be in this position that he's in so it's going to be very interesting i'm excited and god damn i'm actually quite excited so i hope we get more news and more information about this game very soon but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this please give a like subscribe comment and tell me your thoughts on the new halo infinite trailers that we got mainly the gameplay trailer and the obviously the full eight minute demo that we got it's clean crisp beautiful i've just oh it's it's amazing. I actually think I might make an update video just so everybody knows like in more detail about what I've got coming. So I'm not going to talk about it too much here, but just know that there is a lot of content being made. It's just, it's taking a while. My computer, I thought, I'll just say it. I, I thought I lost my computer. Not lost it, but it just shut down and it, did, it wouldn't wake up. And I was panicking and I was like, I have to buy a new computer. Oh my God, what do I do? And then I, I happened to like, um, unlock it and then just reboot the whole computer thank god um, but I think it's time for a new computer so I'm like thinking about what I'm gonna get um, but anyway I'm just I've got so much coming it's just like I'm taking my time a little bit with it <laughs> um, I'm going to make an update video because I just feel horrible for not doing it so I'm gonna do that and then we are going to jump into some brand new content which is going to be coming soon but anyway I'm gonna talk about it more later so yeah again thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video crazy fangirl out Woo!